The Edible Bean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Hensel Co-op. I'm Kelvin Hepner for Real Agriculture. The days are starting to get shorter and the leaves are changing color and dropping on edible bean plants. We are in a field just outside Miami, Manitoba for this edible bean school episode, focusing on desiccation and pre-harvest timing. We're joined by Calum Alexander, field marketer with Hensel Co-op. A pre-harvest application of a desiccant is a really good tool that growers can use, um, whether you're undercutting or in a direct harvest situation. I mean, it's going to help you out in both cases. So, you know, what a, what a pre-harvest application of a desiccant can do for you is it can, you know, speed up your harvest timeline. It can bring the crop in all at the same time, and it can ultimately improve the quality of the beans coming off the field too. You get your moisture a little bit more consistent and you're able to harvest a better product. So it, it's, it's a good idea in, in either situation. Why don't you take us through the, the timing then of, uh, of making that decision when to go in? Yeah, like um, when, you know, if you're going to utilize a, a, a pre-harvest application of a desiccant, timing is one of the most important things. You don't want to go too early. You don't want to leave it too late. You want to you know, you want to time it in the appropriate spot. So this field we're in right now is very close to what I'd call ideal timing. I mean, ultimately we're looking for overall maturity in the plant. So we're looking for 80 to 90% leaf drop. Uh, you want to see about 90% of the pods change to that, you know, yellow buckskin type color. And, you know, some years the plants mature a little differently, but, you know, you kind of want to see you know, in the pod, you want to make sure that about, you know, 90% of your pods um, or more, you know, have the meat of the bean, you know, there's no green left in it and it's turned, uh, turned white inside. So that's kind of what you're looking for as far as timing. As far as products go, there are a number available to use for growers. Um, and I always recommend that you consult with your buyer uh, to make sure um, which products are eligible for the markets the beans going to um, so you don't get into a jam later when it's time to market your product so you know always check with your buyer on which products are eligible to be used now one of the most widely used and, and common products uh, available for a pre-harvest desiccant is saflu fenacil um, which is in western canada we call it heat in ontario it's known as aragon and in the U.S., it's called Sharpen. It's all the same thing, um, but it's it's a great product for doing a, a fall dry down in dry beans. Now, there's a few things we can do to make it work better. So proper timing being the first one. Um, you also want to use lots of water. So we're shooting for 20 gallons an acre. Um, proper timing, lots of water. Spray during the heat of the day in the warmest part of the day. Um, will we'll imp improve its efficacy and use of a, of a deposition aid like interlock will always, uh, will always help out the job as well. So those are just a few things you can do to make the product work better as well. Finally then, Caleb, any, any special considerations for 2021 and the harvest this year in terms of how the growing season has gone? Well, you know, this, this growing season, as we all know, I mean, lack of moisture has been a problem, extreme heat. Um, so some dry bean fields were very adversely affected due to the drought and the extreme heat. So, you know, in some places the plants didn't grow properly, I guess. So, you know, this year I th we're going to see a lot of in-field variability. The parts of the field where the plants had a little better life cycle um, are maturing normally and look good. But the areas of the field that were more stressed are staying greener longer. So we're going to kind of keep that in mind for, you know, our pre-harvest applications. Ideally, you kind of want to shoot for the, the middle ground and, and uh, you know, hit, hit a majority of the field at the right timing. All right. Well, harvest is, uh, is around the corner in, the, in this year's edible bean crop. And uh, thanks again for your time and, and insight today, Caleb. You're welcome. 